Or you could call back. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... You okay? What was that thing? Tam to find though. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. God, this all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry.
parking garage. Got it. Sir, are you all right? Uh, stay back! Don't come any closer! Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there! The parking garage isn't far. I can the take The only safe place is in here! I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone.
All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Gio. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. train moving. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Yes? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an okay, effect expert. No, 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 wait, please! No! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. All stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai. How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping me get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight, friend. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No. Damn it. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars.
Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Really? Okay. Go. Go. Come on, forget about him. Come on. Let's get out of here. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? 
you're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barrett is still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. Uh, uh, why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> Dad. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just no, they're gone. Come, this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after me. <laughs> Nikolai! Get off my train, shit bird! going to stop me. Promised you this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile ah, impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue to move. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. this world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you, if you get me out of here, I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work.
finally over. So long, Arcee. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. <laughs>